Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to run through the, the Fusion kick-up rudder system. So we have talked about this. It, has, it, it is available. Um, we obviously haven't really got around to making a video to showing you people out there how it works or how, it, how we can adapt it. So what you see here is a normal standard Fusion setup with the understeer rudder. This is the, the, the Fusion kick-up rudder. Okay, it comes like this. We'll, it's, a, it's supplied with, with the, the cord all set up. You have a mounting plate which mounts onto the back of the kayak, okay? And obviously the screws and then a split ring, which allow you to connect it to the back of the, to the, back of the kayak. So what we're first gonna do is we're gonna install this before we take the other one off. So we're just gonna show you that how easy it is to install this rudder. So whether you have a rudder kayak without the rudder or whether you need to install this when you receive your kayak, a new kayak, um, we'll just show you how it works. Okay, so first of all, our good man Robert here, he's going to put the, the mounting plate onto the back. In the case of an Allen key, you need a number, this is a number four Allen key we use to, to attach the screws to the, to the back of the kayak. Okay, so as you can see, the mounting plate is now on the kayak. This is where the kick-up rudder will, will clip into. Okay, then we take the kick-up rudder, and as you say, it's designed simply just to fit in there. And it's in. There is a split ring, like this, which obviously, when you, once you've assembled it, you'll push it in. And then you will bend it, so it allows you to give you maximum turn. We were obviously not gonna bend this now, purely because we're showing you how we installed it. Okay, so the split ring thing, that stops it from coming out. Then we move across to the traditional rudder system. So you take the rudder cover off. That you don't need now for this system. So as you can see, we have the the normal T-bar system for the understern. This nut obviously is normally on the top. So you remove the nut and that gives you access to the T-bar, okay? In this case, you can now take this rudder off completely. And you can put that rudder one side because obviously we're now going to run a system here with the rudder on the back only. Okay. So now you have access to the T-bar, right? The only change that we've done recently is we now, on, on the Fusion, crimp the cables as you can see them in my hand, right? Okay. And the T-bar itself is supplied with a split ring. In the older models, we actually used to do the cable directly to the T-bar, but we've realized in order to give yourself maximum turn, you actually need to remove this T-bar completely from the system. So if you have an older model, the only thing you would need to do is get your, your T-bar to connect to the cables via a split ring, which might mean you need to, you know, cut the end of the cable and rejoin it and everything, but that's fine, it's pretty simple to do. So you can redo the end here and just have the loop. That's if you want to swap the rudders. I mean, honestly, if you're going to leave understern, you leave it as it is. And if you're going to have that permanently, obviously you can connect it up permanently if you want to. This system just allows us to swap between the two rudders or if a guy has an understern and he wants to go to an overstern, it's, it's a simple system. So we take this, what you do need is a pair of split ring pliers. And you're obviously going to operate the split ring to remove it from the existing cable. So Robert will take this off the cables for us and then we'll show you what we do next. Just gonna remove the T piece only and he's gonna leave the split ring behind so that we can connect this to the split ring. We made a loop and we're gonna connect the loop to the split ring.
Okay, so as you can see, this rudder is spring-loaded. So if you hit shallow water, something it'll come up, but as soon as you go into deep water, it will drop down. You do have the option, obviously, to secure a rope on here if you want to, to, to be able to pull it up and down. It's not something we really do a lot, so it is, it is possible. It has all the securing points to be able to pull it up and down, but, but we leave it as a you know, spring-loaded to stay down. And that's it. So what, as you can see, what we did here is we took the T-bar off, we left the split ring on, then we just, using the same split ring, we connected it to the already assembled rudder. Okay, there we go. And you're ready for away. Now it works like a normal kick-up rudder system. Works exactly the same rudder, connected to the same pedals, the same steering. Obviously you'll need to adjust your pedals slightly like we always do to make sure that the rudder's straight, the pedals are set straight, and then, yeah, push left, you go left, push right, you go right. As you can say, push left, go left, push right, you go right. That's it. And that's the simple kick-up rudder system that you can now install onto a Fusion, an existing Fusion, by using the mounting points on the back, using the Fusion kick-up rudder system. As I mentioned before, the only difference between the older uh, fusions, like the fusions we've, when we first manufactured, is we never put this on and we never put the T-bar on with the split ring. But that is something that you can that you can do if you just change the thing. We will supply the kick-up rudder system with the rope and a split ring on it. So if you do order the kick-up rudder system, it already has a split ring, then you'll just have to slightly change this setup to be able to remove the T-bar. And then you're done. And that's your kick-up rudder system. And of, of course, to take the kick-up rudder system off and to reinstall this, it's just a reverse process. Disconnect here, connect the split ring to there, put that on, and now you have an understern rudder. So you can have an overstern or an understern rudder on the same car, no problem at all. That's it, and that's our overstern rudder system. Thank you.